Hey guys, it's Sniper one here and today we're driving the Class 66 in a train sim video. So, good afternoon and welcome to the cab of the Class 66. These cement wagons are being taken to Earl's sidings in the Peak District but we'll only be taking them as far as Bedford. Remember not to exceed 60 mile an hour due to the wagon speed restrictions. It's a nice easy one, yes. I know about how to use the brakes in this, thank you very much, Lee. So we'll pop them off, stick the uh, reverse, well, stick the reverser into forwards. It's not a reverser, there's another name for it, and I'm not going to be able to remember. Packing brake off, we're a good train, not passenger. So just wait for the signal to go green for us and we shall get cracked on. So yeah this is one of my first train sim videos I'm publishing to YouTube now that my internet is back up to scratch and all fun and games um, it means that I can actually upload videos in a reasonable length of time. So today is my first train sim 2017 video and hopefully you guys shall enjoy it. Right, so we've got the go ahead now. Let's bring the power up, bring it up nice and slowly. Bring it up to 50%. Just want to be keeping an eye on that speed limit, don't want to be breaking the 15 mile an hour speed limit. Just bring it up to, leave it about 13% so we nicely gain some speed. can see there's our train going through the siding at this moment in time. Such a beautiful train. I just enjoy driving this. So much fun. Right, we should be able to go up to the uh, next level of speed shortly. Yep, there we go. Let's get this thing revved up. Oh, listen to that engine. Yes. That is beautiful. You can only do 60 mile an hour with these trucks. For some reason it didn't want to let me spin round then. Oh well, I'm not complaining about it. Let's hop back inside the cab view. you so we can hear everything that's going on. So we're nicely approaching our 60 mile an hour speed limit. So that's all we can do because of the speed limit on the trucks. It's not too much of a problem really. Let's back it off to 50%. Yep. Jobs are good and green lights all the way. Yeah, this game is pretty fun to play for me. It's, I've always loved the trains from when I was a young child, especially steam trains. But every young kid loves steam trains, don't they? So this just satisfies the child inside of me. <laughs> nice bit of train driving. Let's just bring that up to 60. Don't see why not. My computer really doesn't like this game. I don't know why. I can't ever get a decent frame rate out of it, but I'm not complaining. It's playable. That's the main thing. Let's give it to our horn at this train. <laughs> another class 66. There we go, there's timeless bonus and another train flying past us. Hello! Passenger train. Let's 
so we're just keeping a nice constant 60 mile an hour all the way along the line. I believe we don't even have to touch your brakes until we get to the station at the other end, which is absolutely fantastic. Nice easy scenario, start things off full, nice and easy. And then I'll get into some longer videos eventually with this as a practice, get better again. Try and do as many as I can in my spare time. Maybe do two or three videos a day, something like that for my channel. People watch your videos, people watch your videos, if they don't, I don't mind. a nice little hobby to do in spare time and that's what this is going to be. So it's still going nicely at 60 mile an hour, no speed limits coming up soon, which is jolly good. It's a pretty nice cab inside here, got a light. There's a windscreen wiper. So what have we got here? Oh, Arthur reverse. Yeah, it's a reverse. Thought it was. So what have we got here? AWS acknowledge. Train and I can't remember what that does. I've been told, but I can't remember. There must be a light switch somewhere here. Ooh. Pretty cool, nice little computer bits and pieces up here. Number one cab, max speed, 75 mile an hour. Temporary isolation, not touching that. No, my luck, it'll break something. I don't want that. <laughs> I would have thought there'd be a light switch somewhere in here. Oh, I'm just completely missing it like the idiot I am. No, well, doesn't matter right now. All we need to be bothered about is what's in front of us, and there's nothing much at the moment. out the windows. There must be an alternative position. Oh yeah, there we go. Over in the other seat now. Can't do anything with them. Nice first aid kit. Auto start. Oh look, I bet the light switch. Yep, there's the headlights. There we go. Cab light. No desk light. Ooh, instrument lights. The mystery and a brake test. Let's hop back over to my seat. So we'll pop the cab light off. Oh yeah, look, you can see the instrument lights all lit up. Oh, that's cool. Glad I eventually found that. Took, a, took long, long enough, didn't it, to be fair? Not vastly knowledgeable. I think uh, next train sim video I shall do, I'll uh, do a bit more advanced planning. I shall uh, try and look up some information on the train once I decide what I'm going to drive. Just panicked a little bit there, thought I would have had to slow down, but I remember I'm only doing 60 mile an hour, so don't need to touch them brakes, which is fantastic. Yes, we are. 
traveling along nicely. Ding. So, going from what I found on Wikipedia, the Class British Rail Class 66 is a diesel electric uh, freight train. Yeah. It's referred to as either a JT 42 CWR or a Series 66. These were built from 1998 to 2015, so they've only just stopped uh, producing them. Altogether, they made 446 of them. So it had a the class 66 slash six had a top speed of 65 miles an hour. Engine output we're looking at, at the rail at 3,000 brake horsepower. That is a nice figure, is that? Plenty of power. So it's a six axle diesel electric freight locomotive developed in part from the class 59 for use on the railways of the UK and has actually been sold to other European railway companies as well. So it sounds like it's got about a bit good train. So the weight of the loco is a hundred, well, just short of 130 tons. So yeah, it's a pretty popular train for freight runs, it would seem. I think it's a pretty beautiful train myself. I just enjoy driving it. That AWS will have been the one thing for the speed limit that we are not even touching. We are not even anywhere near it. <laughs> Which is not a problem at all. So we're going by Flitwick P2. Got a platform too. Just got to go by it. Elso down, Bedford South Junction, and stop at Bedford Platform 2, where we will not be picking up any traffic passengers because we are a freight train. There we go, through uh, Elso, uh, Flitwick Platform 2. Don we go. So yes, this is a nice easy run for my first YouTube video of trains in 2017. Not much going on, just a couple of AWS alarms to trigger, and that's about it. Nice and easy. So what what are we actually taking today? No, it doesn't it doesn't actually tell us. I wonder if we can get an idea from what, what we're pulling. Mm, not really. They look fairly manky trucks. That's uh Have a look at the back one, see if we can see. Hmm. Doesn't specify. Oh well, it's nice and quiet here though, isn't it? that power yes beautiful train a beautiful locomotive one should say that would be one in about 75 mile an hour yep yeah, which is not a problem it's not doing any more than 60 and we're running well on time if anything we're running way too early so hopefully that shouldn't cause any problems for other commuters on the line. Oh. This is 
pop my cab light on so we can see as we go into the inky blackness of this tunnel. Oh yeah, look at that. Keeps everything nice and a little. Oh, can't even see the controls switch the interior cab light off. So we could have a look at these uh, instruments. Oh well, not a problem. <laughs> that just ended nicely. Let's pop that cab light off. I'm surprised there isn't one for the desk light to be honest. There's obviously a couple of blank switches there. <laughs> I haven't seen too many trains either on this line. Not a problem, I'm not complaining. Let's just keep a decent frame rate as well. So at the moment there's a nice big sale on on uh, Train Simulator 2017. There's lots of routes and stuff like that for sale. So Hopefully I might have a look and uh, invest in a couple of them. Who knows, they might appear on YouTube in the next next week or so. So this is quite nice and relaxing. Nice enjoyable route, not too strenuous. Ooh, hello train. Cruising along nicely at 59.6 mile an hour. Let's give it a little tickle of power, let's get back up to 60. Nicely done, nicely done. So yes, getting well cracked up. Next point we're reaching is in the next couple of is another two and a half mile, which is pretty sweet. All green signals, so go go. Love houses. Oh, this guy does have some nice views in it. Such a wonderful game. So one of the nice things is uh, the area that I live in and not far from the National Railway Museum. So I can always go and have a wander around there every so often. Pretty nice place, definitely worth a visit if you're into your trains. Tend to go and have a nice wander about. Last time I was there was when I went to see the Flying Scotsman after it had finished its inaugural run. Definitely a beautiful engine. You could tell it had been freshly, put the pavement pretty fresh on it. You could still smell it as it stood there, just uh, nice and warm, ready to be ready to move to its next destination. But yes, beautiful energy flying Scotsman. I've got the uh, wartime version on here in its black state. So I'll probably do a video of that once to get competent at driving it. Oh, it looks like we have a double yellow, people. So I'm going to have to start slowing down. So let's just give us a little bit of break. I can see a green signal ahead. Start bringing the speed back up. Swither's running early. 
probably chasing a train. We're doing a chase. <laughs> what does this warning say here? This recommends fits with anti spalling midstream for drag oh for drag protect. Bracing materials must not be used to clean or come into contact with the locomotive windscreen outside of the cab. How interesting. Can we do anything with this flag? No. So we're just about back up to 60 mile an hour. Let's just bring that down to 13. That'll be warning us of that 75, but we're nowhere close to that speed, so we're fine. Jobs are good. So we're going via Bedford South Junction down slow. And we've got to stop at platform 2, Bedford. And there it is. So we've got a 50 mile an hour to drop so I can start doing maps. Not now but sooner rather than later if you get what I mean. I'll leave it till about 0.3 of a mile. Just need to keep an eye on this brake pipe control. So I don't just uh, stick full brakes on. Not that I've ever done that before. <laughs> Might as well drop off the power now. Yep, we're aware of the 50, we've seen it, we know. There we go, start bringing the speed down. Come off the pressure. That little bit of buttonsy again, just to keep us at 50. Yeah, nicely done. Let's roll off the power completely now. Give ourselves a bit of break. Stopping here. <laughs> come off the brakes, just uh, roll on in. And here we are at Bedford, platform two. Bobo will de be departing or getting on because we are not a passenger train, we are just a freight train. There we come nicely to a stop. And we stopped. Beautiful. Jobs are good. So it looks like we're going to be stopped here for a little while. Don't think I could have done it much more perfect, to be honest. Very, very impressed with that. Jobs are good. There we go. Well done. That's the end of this scenario. Let's see how you did. Yes, let us see. As I expected. A thousand, a thousand points, which gets us the top marks of a gold star. So, this has been Lund this has been the cementing relations scenario, and thank you very much for watching.